In this video, I will show you how to factor trinomials where you have a GCF. So GCF stands for greatest common factor. What it basically is, is what is the biggest number I can divide all three terms by? So for this example, the biggest number that we can divide everything by is a 2. Because 10 divided by 2 is 5, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we will put a 2 outside, so 10 divided by 2, 5, x squared. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4, x, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And now we can just factor the inside. So the inside, what two numbers multiply to get 5? 1 times 5. And then for 1, we have 1 times 1. Cross multiply, 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 5. And then for the positive and negative, looking at this, that's a negative 4. So that means the bigger number needs to be negative. And to make negative 4, we want to add 1. So negative 5 plus 4 is negative, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Copy the signs over and double check. A negative 1 multiply with a positive 1 is a negative 1. So that works. So the factors are going to be x minus 1 and 5x plus 1. And then we just need to remember to copy down this 2 in the front. For this example, we know that we can divide by 2, but maybe we can do something better. I always like to start with the smallest number. The smallest number we have here is 8. I'm going to write that down over here. But 28 cannot divide by 8. We have a decimal. So 8 wouldn't work. So let's see what are the factors of 8. 8 is 2 times 4. So let's start with the bigger factor and see if we can do that. So 28 divided by 4, okay, that works. And 52 divided by 4 works as well. So I know we can have a 4 on the outside. So 28 divided by 4 is going to be 7 and squared. Negative 52 divided by 4 is going to be a negative 13. And, and an 8 divided by 4 is going to be a 2. So we have a negative 2 over here. And now we have something that we can factor the inside. So let's break up the 7. 1 times 7 is 7. And then for the 2, we can do 1 times 2. And cross multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 7 times 1 is 7. The 7 needs to be negative because that's the bigger number. And we have this negative 13 we're trying to reach. But negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. So this doesn't work. So let's try flipping it. We can do 1, 7, and 2, 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. 7 times 2 is 14. And that looks promising because 14 needs to be negative and then to make negative 13 we could go negative 14 plus 1 for negative 13. And now copy the signs over and double check. A negative 2 multiplied with a positive 1 is a negative 2. So that means our factors from this part can be n minus 2 and 7n plus 1. And the only thing we need to do is Remember to bring down this 4 in the front. So that is our answer. For this example, the smallest number is a 10. So let's, let's break that up because we know we cannot divide 42 or 36 by 10. So 10 is 5 times 2. So can we do 5? Well, 42 cannot divide by 5, so 5 is gone. But we can definitely do a 2. So we have a 2 outside. 10n squared divided by 2 is going to be 5n squared. 42 divided by 2 is going to be a 21n. And 36 divided by 2 is going to be a positive 18. And now we can factor inside the parentheses. So 5 is 1 times 5. And the 18, we can try, let's try 6 times 3. So 1 times 3 is 3, 
5 times 6 is going to be a 30. So that means the 30 needs to be a positive. And the 3, well, that can't work. We can't get a 21. So let's try something different. Let's try 1 and 5, and then 3 and 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. 5 times 3 is going to be a 15, which is going to be positive because that's a bigger number. And then to get positive 21, let's make the 6 a positive. And so that is positive 21. Copy the signs over. Positive 3 times positive 6 is positive 18. So we know that these factors are correct. So we have 1 plus 3, so that's n plus 3, and 5n plus 6. And then just remember to copy down the 2 from the front, and that is the answer.